Okay, I can see I'm live, and I just want to make some adjustments because I want you to have a good experience looking at this. Anyway, like I said, there. This is my first time with my Archon mount, and um, it isn't going to be the last time because it really is an awesome piece of equipment. And um, what I'm going to be showing you today is. might work out better for me today. There. Oh. Where's my buddy Leslie Bisbee when I need her? Huh? Okay. What I'm going to show you today is our one of the crafts that I've made for Christmas time around here. And um, it's called, it's called a, um, a chair spindle. And he's a really neat guy once you getting made and I'm going to be showing you all the steps to making the spindle. Um, but first, first things first, uh, I'm going to get a cup of coffee to be drinking while we're, I'm doing this with you. Okay, this is what the spindle looks like. This one is about 48 inches long and he's um, I got him in Winchester, Virginia, and he was nothing whenever I got him. Uh, but we put a shawl on him, and I made a hat for him that's removable. And now I'm seeing them pop over up on a lot of yards around here. Uh, push this down. Okay. Just trying to get my... Um, volume off there. Okay, like you, if you don't if you don't care for tea, then you're probably drinking coffee and I'd like to recommend something that is so good at Christmas time. Maybe you drink it already. But I drink uh if I'm going to drink coffee, during Christmas time, you'll find that I'm drinking, hi Maureen, um, I'm drinking Santa's White Christmas. Have you ever tried it at Christmas time? It's awesome. And, oh goodness, it has the flavors of nutty caramel and toasty coconut goodness. Um, it's what the elves use up in the North Pole, so I think it should be pretty good. It's good to see you. When are you coming in, Maureen? Anyway, we're at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort. Uh, I teach a class called Artitude Adjustment all over the country. Um, and over at Florida Grand, I teach it whenever we're here. So Maureen is one of my favorites. And Maureen is from Missouri? Anyway, I know you're still there. And if it's cold there, if it's cold here, I know it's cold there. But I've been doing this for about almost nine years, and we um, travel full-time in our RV, but we stay here in the winter, so it's, um, it's uh, a fun place to be, and uh, Arkansas, I always get that wrong, um, but I'm so glad you're here, and you're going to get to see what we made in our first class, Maureen, if you're able to stay. I know it's around dinner time, and I'm supposed to be making dinner, but I thought, well, I've got this new Archon mount, and I'll see if it'll work for me. But I'm going to have to get some tutoring on it. 
anyway, that's so good. I put a little bit of um, uh, half and half. Not good for you, probably. And I put a little bit of uh, sweetener. But um, this was originally made by Barney's, or it is made by Barney's. So around Christmas time, you'll see, see it start start coming out in the stores. Um, I, you can buy it at Publix, but you used to have to buy it at Barney's outlets. Like, um, I think they started in Winter Park, Florida, is what I've heard. But it's an excellent medium roast coffee. So let me take one more sip, and then we're going to get started. First, I'm going to make the Santa Claus's, I mean Santa Claus's, snowman's hat. Um, and the way to do it is to just get a regular square piece of felt. I'm going to direct you down now so that you can uh, see this, the square. I, I put two of these together because I wanted you to see that they're all about the same size when you buy the squares. Uh, one part of the square is going to be for the shawl, and the other part is going to be for the hat. And the only uh, you can use glue or hot glue just for the uh, just for the sake of time tonight. I'm going to use. Um, uh, just for the sake of time, I'm going to uh, use a hot glue gun. And I'm just going to come over here. Now, some people really measure this, but I'm going to say, oh, snowman uh, shawl needs to be about this wide. Uh, because the hardest part to me was thinking, how am I going to get, how am I going to get the hat out of this? But all I'll do is I'm just going to go over and I'm going to put a strip of glue I'm gonna put a strip of glue down here. So I'll be back in just a second. My glue station is over here. So talk amongst yourselves. I just unplugged the glue gun because I don't like to leave it laying around when I'm not using it, especially in motorhome. So another thing that I've done here, I'm just going to let this dry for a minute, and I'll just press this down. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're talking snowman here. You can decorate this with a few other things, like if you had some sprigs of holly and fur or... Um, something like that. You could put it in the hat, but not necessary because we're going to uh, put put some uh, going to cut some little strips here. And then all we're going to do is fold it up. Let me show you what the other one looks like. See, as you can see, I've given him some frills. I just tied a knot around the hat. And then, after the glue died, dried, I folded it up to make a little hat. So it's very easy, very easy scarf. And you know what? I was going to buy all these little mini scarves and mini hats uh, when I started thinking about doing this class. Not necessary. Make your own. I mean, these were just so simple. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tie this in a knot and get ready to snip the frill part of it. Now tie it into a double knot. I wish I knew how to use this arc on. Hey Kathy. Janetta. Okay, so here we are. And all I'm going to do is make some little snips here so he'll have some frills. And you can see, I'll snip this off in just a minute. Um, but I'm just making him some... Hey Maureen, how is your quilting going? Goodness. 
You probably have quilted across the world by now. And George, Maureen and her husband are some of my favorites. Kathy is too. And I bet, it, is it cold where y'all are tonight? Sandy, hey, where are you? You better get back here. Yep, Sandy was in the class that did this one. And it was a fun project. And uh, I'm just going to snip this. And now we have a little hat. So, not the last part of it. I wish you were here to help me with this one, Sandy. Kristen. Hey there. Okay, I think it's so cute I'd like to wear this hat myself, but I'm going to have to make me one, I guess. We don't wear too many hats around here. I have this fur one that when I was, um, when I used to fly, <clears throat> that I bought in Russia, and it looks like a bear, a bear hat. I don't think they meant for it to do that. However, it turned out like that. So let's just look at this. I'll show you. Now, what people are doing with these little spindles is they are putting them in their yards with their Christmas decorations. See, he looks so cute, just like that. And um, you could paint something on his hat if you wanted to, but um, you don't have to do anything. He looks adorable just like this. But I said, why don't you just put him in a... In a, in a uh, um, a pot of poinsettias. Wouldn't that be cute, just sitting there? But dug in the ground, in your yard, uh, around some, some, some color is really cute. And people will stop their cars. They'll be stopping all over the place. See, you can see the top of the spindle here. And what I did, when you get these, they're real shiny. You know, they're kind of like ready to put on the steps or wherever they're going to put them. I just put a primer on them so that... Uh, so, so that uh, that way they would uh, kind of get dull, and then I'm able to paint uh, the faces and everything. Now, you're kind of free to do, you know, do whatever you imagine here. I use traditional red and green colors. You can see this spindle and this spindle do not match, so they don't have to. So, my paints are over here. <clears throat> and... So I'll put my hat away. And just get. I'm just gonna grab a brush. And just do an ordinary snowman head. Or if you want to start at the bottom. One of the things I told everybody, I said, you have a. Uh, if you wanted to just do swirls on this, you're welcome to just try a peppermint swirl. This one I'm going to do in red and green, and I'll turn this so you can see it. And I'm telling you, if Kristen Calhoun is still here, uh, I'm going to have to find out how you do this so calmly. And I'm just painting. Let me put this so you can see it. I'm just painting a little bit of a spiral here because I want him to look, whenever I finish, I want him to look, oh, he can be a peppermint stick if he wants to be, but, you know, um, I'm really into this uh, black and white stuff since I went to Mackenzie Child's place. And, uh, <laughs> what? You were calm last night. I thought it was great. <laughs> I sit there and I say, I admire that you can just sit there and talk and let's just, maybe, <laughs> I thought you did an awesome job anyway. she Kristen paints beautiful furniture. And so I enjoy your lives because she shares so much about herself. Um, let me tell you something about myself, um, by the way. It might, it might not be interesting. I might hear a lot of snoring 
uh, on your end. But I tell you, this is the first time I've used an Archon, so I'm going to have to look at a YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to let this just stay here. Oh, I don't know. I'll just see how fancy I am here. I'm just going to put a little red in it because it's Christmas, you know. And we'll just start out here. You know, people always say, oh, how can you be so still because you're painting these lines? That isn't the case tonight. So maybe it comes after you've been doing Facebook Lives. I'm not used to this. So anyway, my husband and I have just gotten back from being on the road for six months. So we went all the way, oh gosh, we were all, we loved um, New York. We were up in the Finger Lakes. And I always just thought Finger Lakes, duh. I've been to the Finger, I've been to lakes all my life. I lived around a lake, but these were just uh, unbelievable. We learned how to say Indian names we never had seen before. Completely different set of Indians. And like Canadagua, if you've ever been there, you know it's so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Kristen. That just calmed me down. Like I'm, now my heart is only beating about a thousand times a minute. Um, but anyway, I tell you, being up in that area, my husband will tell you that now we know we need an 18 wheeler when we travel because we don't have enough room in the car for all of the art things that I buy. I don't buy I don't buy art objects. I buy art supplies to teach a class of 25, 30 ladies. Uh, and it might not be for two years. So he's very patient with me. And I, especially after I say, what a deal. What a deal we're doing here. We got to get this. This is a deal. So that would be that part of it. We're going to start with something up here, though. I'm going to... I'm not even rinsing this out, am I? Okay. We're going to be painting some of this. This is just a dark green. It doesn't matter what you do because it's, it's yours. But it is a Christmas green. And I'm hoping you can see this. Okay. I'm, kind of, I'm going to have to have a private lesson, aren't I? But anyway, we, we feel like we need an 18-wheeler after I get through with it. But I got back, and you know what? I can't even unpack everything. If you know where I am, you know that it's very hard to, we have our motor home, but we also have a coach house next door. Well, I know it isn't all mine. I know that. I know it isn't my storage space. And I know it isn't my studio, but I use it like that. So, and he's very understanding. Uh, Okay, I'm going to paint the face on here just because I know that a snowman has a nose. Oh, this is, let me, let, let me mix a little bit of this so it is kind of orangey. I didn't bring an orange over here. I went over and got a bunch of colors. Not thinking that the, oops, okay. This probably could be, I'm just gonna, can you see me? Okay, good. Okay, this is just a snowman's nose. Now, do you know how many times I've seen snowmen in my life? I'm from Florida, but I saw pictures of them, so I know that that is a snowman nose. I'm not real talented, but I do enjoy getting ladies together that don't know each other and getting them, you know, that's something that we don't do very much of. We kind of get in this. I know it because I've seen it too much over the years is that, you know, we kind of get into this thing where you have your same friends and I'm going to write my girlfriends back in Florida and all this other stuff. I'm going to be keeping in touch with them. 
but do you know you're passing thousands of ladies who would love to get to know you? And they do if you get into something like this. Um, I tell them they get an, I used to call my classes attitude adjustment. Uh, and some of you that are in the class will vouch that it's a lot of fun. I teach fun art, not fine art. And I could use a smaller brush, but I'm just gonna work with this, work with me here. He's got bushy eyebrows, see? And let's give him a little bit of a, I could do this with a Sharpie pen. Now, after I finish all my colors, now tell me, is this, have you ever seen a snowman similar to that? Wait till he gets on all of his dude stuff you know, his shawl, and, uh, in fact, the other day while I'm doing the shawl, I'm thinking, you know, you don't really need to make that red shawl. You can just get a, some ribbon or fur or something. It doesn't have to be that, but y'all know more about toboggans than me. Okay. Look at that. Is he adorable? Now, I'm going to do some more painting just because he looks kind of like half-naked to me. He's got to have some more color. So, let's give him a little, a little red stripe down here. This is going to show up real good out in the yard. Um, you don't have to keep this for 20 years. You can make you another one. But now, I got mine at a reshare. I got, I went in and I bought them in volume. Like I told you, we go for, we need an 18 wheeler. And, and also this was one of the last stops. So when I told my husband, I said, I need to buy about 40 of those. He said, negotiate this price. And so I did, I didn't think they'd accept it. They did, and now, so the next problem is, where are you gonna put this stuff, Marty? And um, it will fit in there just fine, thank you. Now, how do you like that? It kinda looks like he needs some, he needs another, if I had smaller brushes and everything, you can get the picture. It is adorable, just like it is. And I could do red and green or whatever. I've got some little slots in here that would be adorable for that. And putting a shawl on him. Let me just prop him here and show you how I do the shawl. Because I didn't show you that. It doesn't matter what, what, um, it doesn't matter how tall uh, your snowman is either. Because I had some that were about almost 50 inches, and I'm sure there's a size like this. Um, I mean, you can go to Hobby Lobby, or I mean Hobby Lobby. You can go to uh, Lowe's or, um, what's the other one, Home Depot, and buy these brand new, or go to Reshare if they've got them. And probably some building supply places would have them. Uh, so, so, but don't go around stealing things. That's not good. Okay, another sip of Christmas, Santa's white Christmas. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm telling you, that makes me creative. Oh, let me show you some other things. Before I say goodbye, this is a shawl. Okay, and we're just going to tie it around his neck. But, you know, the more I think about it, the better I like a ribbon, maybe this too, and just tie it or fold it, put it in a, a knot, or just glue it on like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to glue the hat on too because it keeps blowing off outside. Now, let me show you something else that I've done. And if you'd be interested in seeing more Christmas crafts, I, I, I got them. I got them up my sleeve. I'm telling you, let me get something else to show you.
if any of you have ever done any alcohol ink crafts, and I've done a lot of them. I've done a lot of them in classes, uh, but I love it when you're using them with Christmas ornaments. Let me get the light here so you can see it better. There you go. No. Um, alcohol inks on the Christmas ornaments are beautiful. I put glitter on here, and then I put um, uh, after I after they dried, and then I sprayed them uh, with a polyurethane. So the the colors are just beautiful. They look oh, and they're plastic. Yes, you can get glass. I can't tell a big difference. And if you'd be interested in me showing you how to do these, I'd be happy to just say, yeah. Mm hmm. So. Anyway, I pulled, put a bow on there because I thought it might be cuter on a tree, uh, but just help yourself with whatever your ideas are there. Uh, let me show you one other thing that we've done in our class, and I have some of these like left over, and I'm gonna be doing another class in this, but you'll love it because this is a really cute thing. Now, Maureen, if you're still on, you'll remember because you were in this class, I believe. friend of mine, if PJ is on here, brought me back a lot of gourds. And so we had a gourd painting class. I think most, some of us did penguins. Sandy, if you're on here. Uh, but I love flamingos. So this is um, definitely something the birds have been wanting me to put outside. Um, and, and so it's a lot of fun. Um, I've been on here half hour but I want to show you something my my uh, daughters and I had a cl I had a trip a couple of months ago when I was in Vermont and you if you know me you've heard this story uh, we flew to meet each other one of them from Florida one of them from Atlanta and uh, we flew out to, one of them had a, a, a class to take so I said hey let's be on let's make a deal and you know what we were look Look, and we dressed up like little idiots. Oh, wait, let me see if I can take this. No, it's an overhead light. This is me. Now, you could understand me doing it. These two are doctors. Yes, and they acted like that in California. Yes. So, anyway, it was a lot of fun, and uh, we had, uh, uh, we, we were not chosen. Uh, they couldn't have had any better cheerleaders. We were the first ones there. But they chose some floozy. I'm just kidding. She wasn't. She was real nice. And uh, we enjoyed we enjoyed it more than they enjoyed us being there. I promise you. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you the snowman. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll try to do the Facebook Lives a little more frequent now. Uh, it's going to take me a couple more times to catch on to this uh, state-of-the-art piece of <laughs> equipment. Um, but uh, I promise you I'm going to try so thank you so much for looking at this, and I hope if you enjoyed it, uh, you'll tell others about Artitude Adjustment by Marty Whitney uh, on Facebook. Uh, remember, it's fun art, not fine art, and uh, you'll, you'll, I hope you'll receive some therapy out of this uh, and that you'll have a smile on your face before you leave. Y'all have a good night, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Jennifer.